माय सेल्फ मिस्टर अक्षय कुमार सुबड़े असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व द न्यूमरिकल ऑन हार्टनेल गवर्नर एट द एंड ऑफ द सेशन स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू डिटरमाइन इनिशियल कॉम्प्रेशन ऑफ स्प्रिंग एफर्ट एंड पावर ऑफ हार्टनेल सो द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम द रेडियस ऑफ रोटेशन ऑफ द बॉल्स ऑफ ए हार्टनेल गवर्नर इज एटी एम एम एट मिनिमम स्पीड ऑफ थ्री हंड्रेड आर पी एम निग्लेक्ट द ग्रेविटी इफेक्ट डिटरमाइन द स्पीड आफ्टर द स्लीव हैज लिफ्टेड बाय सिक्सटी एम एम अल्सो determine the initial compression of the spring the governor effort and power the particulars of the governor are given below the length of the ball arm is 150 mm the length of sleeve arm is 100 mm mass of each ball is 4 kg and the stiffness of the spring is 25 newton per mm so as shown in the figure the diagram a shows minimum speed position and diagram b shows maximum speed position fc1 is the centrifugal force exerted by the ball at minimum speed 300 rpm radius of rotation r1 is 80 mm and the sleeve is lifted through 60 mm the length of the sleeve r the length of the sleeve r is 100 mm and the length of the ball r or vertical r is 150 mm we have to find out the initial compression of the spring a for and power of the governor so first of all we will calculate the maximum radius of rotation so maximum radius of rotation is represented by r2 so lift of the sleeve h is equal to r2 minus r1 into y upon x so height the lift of the sleeve is given 60 mm r2 is unknown r1 is 80 mm y that is the length of the sleeve r is 100 mm and the length of the ball arm is 150 mm so put these values calculate the maximum radius of rotation so it is 170 mm or in meter it is 0.17 meter now we have to calculate the maximum speed n2 so n2 is the maximum speed of the governor maximum speed of rotation at maximum radius of rotation r2 let us assume s1 and s2 capital letter s1 and s2 spring force at minimum and maximum position minimum and maximum speed position now we will calculate what is the centrifugal force exerted by this mass at minimum radius of rotation so fc1 that is centrifugal force exerted by the rotating mass at minimum condition it is given by m r1 omega 1 square so mass of the ball it is given 4 kg so 4 into radius of rotation 80 mm into 
2 pi what is the rpm given to you the rpm is given 300 so 2 pi into 300 divided by 60 so the centrifugal force exerted by the rotating mass at minimum speed condition by doing the calculation you will get the answer 316 newton so now you know the centrifugal force exerted by this rotating mass okay now in order to find out the spring force at minimum condition we will take the moment about this pivot point o of the bell crank lever so neglecting the gravity effect and taking the moment about point o what are the various moment mg plus s1 divided by 2 into y this moment is in the clockwise direction secondly centrifugal force fc1 into x so taking the moment about point o we will get mg plus s1 divided by 2 into y is equal to fc1 into x as capital m is 0 mass of the sleeve is not given so it is assumed to be 0 so you will get s1 upon 2 into y is equal to fc1 into x therefore s1 is equal to 2 times fc1 into x upon y so 2 into centrifugal force 316 x 150 divided by 100 so spring force corresponding to minimum speed condition it is 948 newton so by doing the calculations from the above equation you will get the spring force s1 that is 948 newton now as we know the stiffness of the spring s it is the force required to compress the spring by 1 mm so stiffness of the spring is given s2 minus s1 divided by h and therefore you can write <coughs> this particular equation as h is equal to s2 minus s1 divided by stiffness of the spring and hence here h into s is equal to s2 minus s1 and therefore maximum spring force or spring force corresponding to maximum speed s2 will be equal to s1 plus h into s so s1 948 which we have calculated plus lift of the sleeve 60 and stiffness of the spring is 25 newton per mm so by putting these values you will get the spring force corresponding to maximum speed 2448 newton so this is your maximum spring force corresponding to radius of rotation r2 now for maximum speed condition fc2 that is centrifugal force exerted by this rotating mass at radius of rotation r2 that is given by m r2 omega 2 square so mass of the ball is 4 kg radius of rotation we have calculated 0 0.17 into 2 pi n2 divided by 60 so fc2 centrifugal force exerted by the rotating mass that will be equal to by doing the calculation you will get 0 0.00746 n2 square so this centrifugal force is in terms of the maximum 
taking the moment about point O. What are the various moments? Fc2 into x is equal to mg plus s2 divided by 2 into y. So, put the value of Fc2 which we have calculated in terms of n2 square multiply by 150 mm capital M, M is 0 S2 2448 divided by 2 into 100 and from this equation you will get the maximum speed N2 that will be equal to 331 rpm. So, this is the maximum speed corresponding to radius of rotation R2. So, initial compression of the spring is nothing but S1 spring force at minimum speed condition divided by stiffness of the spring. So, the value of S1 is 948 divided by stiffness of the spring is 25 and therefore, initial compression of the spring is 37.92 mm. This is the initial compression of the spring. Now, effort of the governor. Effort of the governor in case of half nail governor is calculated by the difference between the spring force S2 minus S1 divided by 2. And therefore, the value of S2 is 2448 minus 948 divided by 2. And therefore, the effort of the governor is 750 Newton. Now, power of the governor. Power of the governor is nothing but effort P into lift of the sleeve. So, P is 750 that is effort into 60 mm. So, this will be 45 into 10 raise to 3 Newton mm or you can say it is 45 Newton. The content is referred from the book of theory of machines by Khurmi R. Thank you.